In this tutorial, I'll show you guys why I usually combine two techniques of frequency separation and advantages and what you can benefit from combining. So I've been getting so many questions about why I tend to combine these two kind of kinds of frequency separation techniques to do screen retouching. And this tutorial, I want to just compare the two methods of frequency separation and show you the advantages you can benefit from combining both techniques so usually we have the mixer the mixer brush technique and the lasso tool technique so we're just going to be looking at the differences between those two techniques and when you combine both of the techniques to do skin retouching for you in photoshop so right now i'm just going to come to my actions and i play my 16-bit frequency passion action and remember move this way just up to the point when you starting flows out on the details in your image so for this case i feel like a radius of around eight is good enough for this image so just stop at that point when you're starting close out on the details and simply hit ok and the action is just going to continue playing so usually when i'm doing frequency separation i tend to turn off the black and white but if at all you want to use it as a check layer to see the areas with uneven skin tone you can you can see these uneven skin tones right there. Remember, skin retouching is more of evening out those uneven skin tone transitions. So for the lasso tool technique, I'm just going to turn this off. And I come to the lasso tool right here. And I'm going to be using this new selection option checked. And the feather, I'm just going to be using a feather of 22 pixels. So at the edges of my lasso tool selection, are really not very hard and rough and doesn't leave those ugly lines from the selection in different areas so I'm just going to come right here and I'm going to make a selection on the skin area remember as you're doing this selection only select the skin area and don't select the eyebrows and the edges or even the hair just come to filter blur and we come to gush and blur like we usually do and for this step, we usually take this towards the right-hand side, up to a point when we feel like the texture is enough. But usually, I would recommend for a radius you have used when you are playing your frequency separation action, just multiply that radius by 3. And that value is going to get you, it is just more of a guarantee because I tried and tested it a couple of times. So just come and multiply that radius by 3. So 8 by 3 is 24. I'm just going to type in... 2, 4 right there and you can see the texture looks really natural and very highly realistic and simply hit OK. So right now you can see it has really done a good job but I'm just going to deselect by hitting Ctrl Command D to deselect or you can click anywhere in the image. So I want you to look at this specific area right here. You can see that we still have those uneven skin tone transitions. You can see right here. I hope you can see this quite well. And we have some kind of patch right here. And there is some other patch right here. So that is more of a disadvantage when you're trying to do skin retouching. Remember, we just want to have very nice and even transitions within the skin tone. But this makes that look opposite or look otherwise. So... We just want to even out these transitions. So the other technique that I would recommend, you can either start with the lasso tool technique and apply the mixer brush tool to complement or even out these uneven skin tone transitions better. So when you apply the mixer brush tool technique, it helps you get finer and more refined results from the skin retouching. Let me just show you what I'm going to do right now just going to undo that by going to my history panel I'm going to undo that so that I show you if at all I tend to use the mixer brush tool first then I use the lasso tool technique to kind of complement that I'm just going to come to the mixer brush tool so come under the brushes and get the mixer brush tool for newer versions of Photoshop and for older versions you may find your mixer brush tool right down here and I'm just going to come and make sure it is a clean brush as usual and make sure a second option is selected because I want Photoshop to automatically clean the brush as you're trying to blend different 
skin tone areas remember we have different colors within the skin tone so don't want to carry color from one area to another area of the skin tone because that is going to be distorting the original facial structures of a model the weight i'm going to be using nine percent load 75 mix 90 and a flow of 100 percent make sure sample orders is not checked or selected because we only want to mix the layer that is containing the colors or the skin tones and that is known as the low frequency layer I'm just going to start blending these areas and before I start blending those areas make sure that you don't over zoom into your image because if you over zoom in you may not get to notice those areas quite well you can see they tend to disappear the more you zoom into the image so make sure you have a reasonable way you're looking at the image before you apply any adjustments so I think that looks okay I'm going to come to the high frequency layer and I'm just going to turn it off so when I turn off the textures or the high frequency layer from the image you can notice that we are looking at those uneven skin tone transitions quite well or even better or alternatively you could also add this black and white layer and that is going to give you a more visual detail of those uneven skin tone transitions so I'm just going to leave that I'm just going to come and start using the Mr. Bash tool to even out those transitions within the skin tone so you can increase or decrease on the size of a mixer brush tool by using the box brackets or the open and close brackets on the keyboard and I'm just going to start painting through by left clicking and simply moving the brush and trying to blend or merge the colors that look alike within this image you can see this tends to make it look a little bit plastic but that is because we have turned off the high frequency layer but you're going to be seeing the results quite in a bit so I'm just going to paint through just like that on the skin area we have a highlight I'm just going to paint it right there and on this boundary where the highlight is meeting the mid-tones just make sure you match it to have that nice and beautiful transition and just come right here and also paint this color through using a mixer brush tool and come to this area where they are trying to meet and also make sure to do that and we have all create or harmonize that transition and now you have to keep on adjusting on the size of the mixer brush tool as you're trying to uh, blend those areas just like that so I just want to show you the results for only as a mixer brush tool for this case and we see if at all we can see those uneven skin tone transitions that we are seeing before like in the case when we are using the lasso tool technique to do a uh, skin retouching on this image so I'm just going to turn on the high frequency layer or the texture layer and we can see let me try to zoom out and you can see right now we don't see this kind of patches that were in the image initially before and we have just we have just evened out the skin tone transition and it is really looking nice and flawless so after you can see this is the advantage of using a mixer brush tool but remember as we are using a mixer brush tool we may tend to miss out on some specific areas that's why or that is where the lasso tool technique comes in hand so after I have usually applied the mixer brush tool, I tend to come back and get my lasso tool to complement the areas I may have missed out when I'm trying to blend or even out the transitions within the skin tone. So I come and get the lasso tool, new selection mode active and the feathering is 22 pixels. Remember I just want smooth edges when I make a selection on the skin area. So just come and only select on the skin area. So this is going to do more of complementing of the retouching that we did with the mixer brush tool or to try and fill in those gaps we may have missed out when you are trying to blend the skin tone transitions when you are using the mixer brush tool. So just come to filter, blur and come back to Gaussian blur and remember we had applied our radius of 24 and just look at how nice that is. I'm just going to hit enter and you can see before, after, before, after. You can see that we no longer have these patches 
But remember when we applied only a lasso tool technique, we still had this kind of patches right in the image. But when we first of all applied the lasso tool technique, it got rid of these patches that we are seeing uh, in the lasso tool technique. And we complemented those areas by, use by using the lasso tool technique to make it a better and refined result. So you can see what we have right now. So that is the reason as why I usually combine the two techniques of frequency separation to give me the best results. And if at all you have been asking me such a question, I hope I have really answered this quite well in this tutorial. And if at all this has been an eye opener to you, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching and you haven't subscribed this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.